everybody, welcome back to another episode of Catatouille. I'm Joseph Lambert. And I'm Marcy Eggers. And today we will be making ratatouille. Here's what you need for the ratatouille. So the first step of making our ratatouille is we're going to take our tomato paste and we're going to spread it around the bottom. The reason that we put the tomato paste at the bottom is to have a bedding so the vegetables won't stick to the bottom and burn. So now we're going to cut our onion in half and mince it up and we're going to also cut our garlic and mince it up. So Marcy, what is your favorite part about the movie Ratatouille? My favorite part about the Ratatouille movie is Remy the mouse. Mm -hmm. Like he is under the chef's head or hat, like his chef's hat mm -hmm. and he's like controlling him by pulling on his hair. Oh yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah, that is a good part of it. What's your favorite part of the movie? Hmm, I would say when the critic ends up liking the food and everything goes to being great, you know? Because oh. they go through a lot, they really do. They do go through a lot. You grew up in the city, right? Yeah. Yeah, I grew up on the farm. So. so different lifestyles. Different lifestyles, different worlds. And here we are, cooking on Catatouille. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the garlic and sprinkle around the tomato paste. And I'm going to sprinkle my onions in there with the garlic. Now we are going to add in our oil and our water and salt and pepper. Now we just need to mix it up. are ready to chop up our vegetables. First up for the vegetables, I have my spaghetti squash and I'm going to take a knife and make some perforations in a line where I plan to cut it in half and then put it in the microwave for five to six minutes. And I'm going to take my zucchini and just cut off the ends and start slicing. do the same thing that I did to the zucchini to the yellow squash. I'm just gonna slice it up and put it in a pile. And I have my spaghetti squash out of the microwave. I cut it in half. I'm going to scoop the seeds out of it and then take the outer skin off and then make it into straw-like strings. So fun fact, you can tell which one is a male and female on peppers. The ones that have four on the bottom are females and the ones that have three are males. Interesting. It is. The females are sweeter, just like they are in real life. Wow. Joseph is gonna cut the pepper and he's going to core it and then thinly slice it. And I'm going to follow what he's doing. Do you have a favorite memory of your childhood? I'd have to say my favorite childhood memory would be always <clears throat> Christmas dinner at my granny's mm -hmm. that we would, when I was younger, we had homemade noodles. That's still my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. And for Christmas that we make homemade gifts. And now my granny always makes her homemade noodles to give away as her present. Oh wow. Uh, I would say my favorite memory would be when my siblings and I would just mess around the house and try to figure out new games to make. There was a certain house that all of our, you know, my siblings and I, this one house was our favorite house and there was so much to do and we had all these activities that we made up. So 
So now that all of our vegetables are cut, we are going to start layering them, alternating them, and laying them down in our pan on our tomato paste. So now we're going to take our spaghetti squash and our peppers and make a little round in there within our ratatouille. We're just going to fill in the rest of it with the rest of our zucchini and yellow squash. All right, so we have our ratatouille in our bowl. It looks nice and neat. For the finishing touches, we're going to put our olive oil and pour it around and then season it with salt and pepper and the thyme. Okay, we are ready to put our ratatouille in the oven. We put our parchment paper over it and we are putting it in at 375 for 45 minutes. Welcome back everybody. Due to some technical difficulties, we were not able to get you the footage for the mashed potatoes, but we are going to make garlic bread instead. Here's what you need for that. First step, preheat your oven to 375 while you get your uh, ingredients prepared. Alright, so you just cut your bread. I'm going to use the bigger parts of it because I'm not using all of it, so I'm just going to cut off the ends for now. And then you'll cut them into slices of one inch or so. bread sliced up so you'll want to melt your butter next for about a minute in the microwave or until it's completely melted. Once your butter is melted we're going to add our oregano and our garlic powder so you'll have one tablespoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of oregano. Go ahead and stir that up. Respirer ton parfum autour de moi sans cesse. Once you have your oregano and your garlic powder and your butter, go ahead and use a brush to brush it onto the piece of bread. We don't have a brush right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Pour it. Tendresse qui est né d'un baiser. You would definitely use a pastry brush for this step. Alright, we have our butter on our toast. Now it's time to put it in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes and you'll flip it halfway through. Our garlic bread is done. I'm going to have Bradley come on and test them out. Does cheese one? Go for it. Right there. That one's good. 
And once again, due to technical difficulties, we did not have the footage for the taste test of the ratatouille. It was delicious though, and we have some shots to show you of the completion of the product. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Catatouille. Check us out on social media and KNWT Channel 8, Monday through Thursday at 6.45. See you next week.